So, um, welcome to the lesson. Um, hopefully a few more will be joining us because as we speak, we've only got Alex, Esme, Isla and Thomas attending, but I am recording it. So um, uh, that's that's fine. And also it's a pretty straightforward one. So there's a fair chance quite a few of you saw what was going on for revision today and thought I can do that and ju just got on with the work, which is totally fair enough. So um, we are going to be revising how to expand double brackets. And um, that will be followed by homework number Hegarty 163, please. Now, uh, quite a few of you still haven't got um, that Dr. Frost maths work even started yet. So that's Henry, Lucas, Seb, Milo, Alex, Sam and Evie. So once you've gone and done this double brackets revision, um, which shouldn't take you long, uh, I need you to go and, and try and uh, get onto the Dr. Frost website and have a go at those five questions I set on there. Now, it's really important, and one or two of you didn't do very well in it, but you're just not showing you're working. So it makes it very difficult for me to intervene and help you. Now, I appreciate it's very difficult to write on that um, mini whiteboard thing over on the right hand side, uh, particularly if you haven't got access to touch screen technology so you're just having to do it with your mouse but even if you just do it really untidily I can still see what steps you are doing and then I'm able to actually help you but if you just get an answer that's wrong I've just got no idea what um, workings you have so it's very difficult for me to help you so I think it's pretty essential if you're getting them wrong that you're including workings clearly if you were getting them right then you your workings must be correct and it's not so important. So um, I you know I am keen that we get up and running and everybody is gets up to speed with Dr. Frost maths. I mean I know we've done an awful lot of Haggerty and you're all finding that very easy to navigate now, but that's only because you've practiced a lot. Now I know we've only got a couple of weeks before the summer holidays and I, I'm hoping we'll all be back in September. But Dr. Frost Mass will be something I'll be using a lot of next year as well. So and, you know, I don't want you thinking, well, it's hardly worth getting up to speed with it for the sake of two weeks. It's going to be a very useful homework tool for when we're back at school. So I do want these done, guys, so that you um, six, please, can you make a real effort to uh, you seven rather? Can you make a real effort to have a go at that? And if you're struggling to access it, just let me know and I, and I will help you. Anyway, today's topic is going to lead, as I said, to doing Hegarty 163. So I'm just going to really quickly uh, model some of these just to remind you, and then I'll leave you in peace to get on with it. OK, so this is where we have the, the four clause. So start off with the X and first of all, multiply it by. So start off with this first X and the first thing we're going to do is X times X, which is X squared. We're then going to do x times plus 8, which is plus 8x. We then move over to the plus 4. We're going to do 4 times x, which is plus 4x. And then plus 4 times plus 8, which is plus 32. So that's step one of your workings. That is, um, that is expanding the brackets. Now, it's step two, you've got to simplify. So you've got to gather the like terms. You've got to gather up together the terms which are similar. Now that is the only x squared. So he comes down unchanged. That is the only normal number. So he comes down unchanged. But we've got to gather up these x's. Now 8x plus 4x is plus 12x. So our final answer for this question would be x squared plus 12x plus 32. Now all the following examples are just the same, but you've just got to be careful when the, the signs start including some minuses. OK. So X times X is X squared. X times minus one is minus X. A plus times a minus is a minus. Plus five times X is plus five X. And plus five times minus one is minus five. Then gathering up like terms, we're gathering up the X's in the middle. We get X squared plus four X minus five as our final answer. OK, next question. So X squared. Minus two X. 
move over to the second term in the first bracket. Minus 7 times x is minus 7x. Now, this is the one you've got to be very careful. A minus times a minus is a plus. So that is plus 14. And then finally, gather up your like terms, which are always going to be the two in the middle for this exercise. X squared. Now, be careful. We're working on the number line here. Minus 2x, and then you take away another 7x, takes you further into the minuses. That's minus 9x. Then you've got your plus 14 on the end. OK, a couple more to go. Oh, no, one to go. So with this one, you've just got an, an extra first step. Remember, x minus 1 squared. Anything squared just means itself times itself. So that just means x minus 1 multiplied by x minus 1. So as long as you appreciate that's the first step, these are just the usual process. OK, so x times x is x squared x times minus 1 is minus x, minus 1 times x is minus x, minus 1 times minus 1 and minus times a minus is a plus, so that's plus 1, then gathering up our like terms in the middle, x squared minus 2x plus 1 would be our final answer. And that's it folks, okay, so please go and get a good mark on Hegarty 163 and then those of you in red on that list I then want you to spend the rest of the hour getting into Dr Frost ma uh, mass website and having a go at those five I think it was quite straightforward really um algebraic questions the idea wasn't that the mass was particularly difficult I just wanted you to you to start getting used to using Dr Frost okay guys that's it bye